Hey guys, so this is our second video diary from Vintuk to Lusaka. We're going to watch it with you and chatter in the background. We hope you like it. So, Russell carries with him a tiny guitar on his bicycle. Music is the universal language after all. And here we are singing for our supper at Mr. Chingobi's farm in Zambia. I think there's an out of time wood chopper in the background. <laughs> Basically, we're now heading towards the end of Namibia, uh, but this is the wildest part. Um, everyone we speak to is telling us that we're going to see elephants, and that by the time you see them, you're going to be in the middle of a herd, and that it's going to be too late. I feel the way I do before doing a bungee jump, actually. We never did see any elephants, did we? No, only cattle. You lost. Really no, I absolutely got that in my mouth. No, I really didn't think about it. Come on, guys. Take it seriously. Three, two, one, go. And food is obviously very, very important to us. Oh, yeah. And it's not always healthy, is it? No. <laughs> oh, ah. it did the food in my mouth. In fact, much of it is deep fried. And delicious. Yeah. <laughs> and Hamish always had a secret stash of sugar and fat. Naughty. We did once eat elephant biltong. Sustainably harvested, of course. Of course, of course. Ooh. Oh, I miss salty cracks. Yeah! <laughs> what we've got in here, basmati rice, quick cook, some stock powder, coconut shavings. A little bit of spice, absolutely delicious. Now it's vegetable time. Getting the frying on nice and hot in the oil. Vegetable feast. This is campsite camping at its best, deluxe. Yeah, that's the best meal we've ever had. Wouldn't you agree? Not ever had. Uh, 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 on this trip? On this trip, for sure. Okay, let's yes, do that again. Can. Best meal we've had on this trip, without a doubt. Definitely one of the highlights of this part of the trip was making our way to Livingston for the Green Pop Festival of Action. And we learned so much. We learned about edible food forest gardens and we learned about uh, natural building, how to build a cob oven, how to make art out of waste. Yeah, it was great. And they prove that environmentalism is no longer the preserve of the nerve. It's actually cool to care. But we're now outside of Livingston and it has been three weeks since we cycled properly. It's been strangely satisfying getting back on the bikes, so although we're not fit. It almost feels like a homecoming. One of the great surprises and confidence boosters on this expedition has been to win the Mille Expedition Project Award. Yeah, we got some really top quality gear from them and some pretty funky glasses too. <laughs> <laughs> Some excellent product placement there. So as we approached Lusaka, it was time for Hamish to go on his way to university in Scotland. So Russell took it upon himself to ask him a myriad of personal questions. Hamish, what will you miss the most? After all these months on the road, what would you consider your most precious piece of wisdom? If every day has been unforgettable, what did we do last week Thursday? Do you have any reflections before you go, Hamish? This is the time. This is the time. This is it. Time. If not now, then when? This is the moment. No, really, I can. Any any parting remarks? Do you think you have matured in many ways? Um, now that you're so much wiser, how many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? We thought we would spend the evening maybe reminiscing over the adventure with a few beers and a delicious slap-up meal. But actually, instead we decided we should rather stress and have a fun evening of packing, unpacking and repacking, exacerbated by the fact my bicycle broke down and I had to quite literally pillage Hamish's bike. I've stolen his chain, I've stolen his back wheel and uh, I've stolen his time. 
I've shared some very special experiences with Stephen and with Russell. Yeah, things we'll share for the rest of our lives and I'm very grateful to have been a part of it. I wish Russell and Stephen all the best for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Bye, Havers! Yeah. This is Tenge King! <laughs> right. right, I think it's time for you to go. Caledonia, here calling and I'm going home. One of the many problems facing the modern day camper is to pee or not to pee. I like to pee, so I found my piss bottle. This, uh, this little beauty was found at the side of the road and it's going to be the perfect utensil for urinating in the night.